Hello, my ghouls and girls. <laughs> Hello, my creatives. I'm so glad that I am. Uh, I love the holidays, and uh, I got, I got, I scared my husband with my makeup. I like it. It looks cool. And I have witch hair. Don't care. There it is. <laughs> so today I'm gonna do my second. A uh, set of Christmas cards, holiday cards, Christmas cards. Yeah, we're calling them Christmas cards. And I had um, a Facebook Live party last night. That is that I'm starting a group of my Paper Pumpkin um, subscribers. So if you'd like to join us, you can join us for one and see if you like it. And this is the one that's coming up for November, Jolly Gingerbread. You order before December, November 10th and then it will come in and I will um, connect with those that are my subscribers and we will have a private face, Facebook or YouTube. I have to decide which would be better for all of us. Um, some people are not on Facebook, um, although this is going live on Facebook. I'm going to put it on YouTube as well. So basically, um, this month's kit, November's kit, will have enough supplies to create, to create 15 gingerbread-themed gift card carriers and envelopes. However, um, I am going to be creating something different. So I'm going to be using whatever they send us and trying to make different things to show you what you can do so that you would have the kit and follow along with me. So exciting. Yes. I hope you'll come. I hope you'll join. You can join for one month. Just get it for the next month, then cancel it and you're done. Or you can have it for three months. Pay for the three months ahead of time. You get a discount. And I think it also does six months. I have it all the whole year. So I have it every month so that I have something um, I like to share with you guys. I do something different with it. As long as you're in um, the group, I will continue to send you the connection so that you'll be able to participate. I do hope you'll join me. I think it's going to be fun. It looks like it's going to be really cute. Um, what else? They always give you a stamp set. They give you everything you need, except the scissors. Um, they give you little tiny glue dots. Let me see if I can find some glue dots here. Uh, they give you dimensionals, ribbon, whatever the kit requires for you to do it, it's completed. And I believe it's $22. So for $22, you get 15 gift cards, or if you have card stock, you can always um, do the alternatives that I'll be teaching you. It will be fun, I promise. It will be nice. It'll be fun things to do. And just in case you're not aware of what my philosophy is, um, I am a trained therapeutic recreation specialist. I'm also a special ed teacher. And for many, many years, I taught um, exceptional ed students and, and adults how to have hobbies, how to do things that are fun. Um, being in recreation, people always say, oh, you're gonna go play. It's a little bit more than that. Uh, having a hobby, like card making and craft making, it's something that, that gives you a zen, it's like meditation. And while you're in the process, so when you do a puzzle, it's like meditation because you're zoned into that. Uh, the other thing about doing creative things like this, where we're sharing our knowledge and what we're doing, is we end up making connections with people and giving a, you know, having that community. And that's what I love about it. And that's what I want to spread is that this is a community. So I want you to think of me as your creative coach, because that's who I am. And we're going to we're gonna move along. I'm gonna bring it back to this part so that you can see what's up next. What is up next, Marianne? Well, frankly, I'm trying to find the cards so that I can show you the, but you know what? Yesterday I had to throw, 
put, not throw. I put everything into, um, into a, here it is right here, into a special place so that <laughs> they wouldn't get, they wouldn't, this is really going to start to, to weigh heavy on my brain cells right now. So let's see if I can tie this back. Um, I've been growing my hair out and it is starting to annoy me because that's just how it is. I know it's in here. I think it's in here. I'm sure it's in here. These are all the ones we did. If you missed any of them, the PDF will be on my blog. Is that my blog? No, this is my blog. Go away. There it is. Go to the blog, connect with me, and you will get the updates. There are blog hops that happen. Lots of creative people on the blog hop. You, you certainly want to be a part of that. See those things and get ideas. You know, that's the way life is. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe this. Oh, where is it? Oh, you know what I did? I know what I did. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's far away right now, so can't get it for you. Yep, 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 yep. Try this one. Nope, not in there. gonna go with the flow all right so my lovely peeps my love oh can you believe this they're inside the bag are they no these are the no it's not okay <laughs> i was gonna say can they are they in the bag really i'm not that unorganized it can't be in the bag all righty here we go so number one, I'm going to do the, um, the, what I consider to be the easiest one first because they're both a little bit more difficult than I would do for our normal card, card and co coffee and cards, except I'm having water and I'm dressed in a Halloween thingy. But I think I need this. I think I need this right here. That's what I think. Just in case. Just in case we get trick-or-treaters. I need to have that. Oh, I forgot to put on my crazy earrings for you guys. I was getting, um, what do you call it? Um, sidetracked because hubby was home sweetie had to go out thank goodness because he was driving me crazy he's saying are you going live yes i am hon when are you going live as soon as you leave and it continued for another five minutes all right so here's the thing i have um which one is it Please, please, please. Oh, I guess all the information is going to be on the, on the PDF on the blog. So I measured out the card. Um, I'm using some copper paper in the background. And then I sort of did a same measurement. So it's about three inches by five inches. And then I did triangular cuts or diagonal cuts in the paper cutter, okay? And so I went this way, then this way. But here's the trick to doing this correctly. Make sure that when you cut this, you put it down someplace and then follow with this one. Otherwise, you're doing a puzzle piece. And I'm sure if you decided to do card making and not puzzles, it'll confuse you. But then here it is on the, with the copper back. I don't know if you get a really good, it's really cute. So I clued this because it would take forever for me to do the cutting and the placement and all that. 
And I'm sure that's not something you're interested in doing and seeing. If you are, I can make a longer video. Then I turn it around and I take my scissors and I just get rid of the, the overhang, okay? So I don't worry about whether or not it is precise. And in some ways, having it be just a little bit bigger than your, your background layer is good because that way you can just snip it off and everything works out in the end, all right? So real red cardstock, always eight and a half by 11, scored at four and a quarter. This way I can use it portrait or landscape. In this case, I'm using it portrait. And this is going to be placed right about there. I think you have a good view of it. Let me, um, let me just see if I can't. Ay, 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 ay. There we go. I'm going to bring it down just a tad. And hang on, we're going to move. There we go. Just a little closer. I find that when I try to come in a little bit close for you guys, that um, what happens is, geez, what happened here? What happens is the, uh, it gets too close and I go out of shot. So I try to keep it back a little bit so that you get a better, a better view. I'm going to move you again. I think, yeah, I think that's better. All right. So I roughly give, I give more measure, um, margin over here than over here, but I try to make the whole thing equal distant on the three sides, as you can see, right? Okay, and I'm gonna use my stamp and seal. Yeah, just the stamp and seal and that. Ay, 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 here we go. And then you're supposed to lift it back like that. And then just little smidgies, but I don't have very good luck doing it in little short bursts. I don't like doing that in short bursts. I try because, you know, saving on tape, but ay, ay, ay. So amazing. Going like this and popping that down. You're probably saying, why are you wearing a crazy costume and making Christmas cards? Because that's what's happening now. We need to start going into the next holiday. Right? Right. All right. What stamp set did I use? Dee, 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 dee. Okay, so these guys, I need to have them hang down. So I'm bringing over my little supplies here. This is things that, some of these twines I got from my um, paper pumpkin kits. You always get more than you absolutely need, to be honest with you. So I'm, I'm pulling off some of that, and I love this. This has been my, this is my favorite ribbon right now. And I think I'm running out, I'm gonna have to get more. It's called Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. It is awesome, it's so cute, it really is. I'm gonna take a smidge of that because I, I can. Now I'm taking my ribbon, actually it's twine, it's not ribbon, and I'm folding it in half, and I have roughly about 10 inches, 20 inches in total. And I'm going to just sneak some, this in here like this, and I'm gonna tie it off right there because it's gonna hang. Dink, 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 there we go. And then the next one, I'm gonna go up a little bit Right to here, bring it through, and tie it off. I may have to, I may have to bring just one layer through, yeah. Because I want this to go up like that, and it's gonna be like 
Jing, jing, jing. Jing, jing, jing. No, like it's, it's jingle belling. I know. Hang on. Here we go. Ta-da! See how cute? You do it whatever way works for you. This is going to go right here. Leave that there for a second. I have to get my Christmas means more. What a nice stamp set. Seems like it has movie themes here because it says, I believe, it's silly, but I believe, name that movie. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Trivia. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. I don't know what movie that's from, but I'm sure it's from a movie. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Ta-da! Thank God I don't sing. And then my favorite. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. And that's what we're doing today. And, you know, that is my absolute favorite, favorite movie of all time. Christmas movies. Because it was so hard. Yeah, before the days of... Um, Piece of paper. Before the days of VCRs, digital, you know, people being able to to tape or just instant demand something to watch, I used to have to wait until oh, right around Thanksgiving time they would start to come out. And maybe, if you were lucky, you would get... Da, da, da. I'm using Garden Green. You would get to see this movie. It's a Wonderful Life. And did you know that they also made... Marlo Thomas one once made a movie similar, but from a woman's perspective. From a woman who... Uh, in place of the main character, which I think was awesome. Well done. Now, what was fun about that particular um, movie or story, and I don't know how true this is, but a lot of it, well, so I grew up in New York, and I grew up in an area where that bridge that they show you in the story looks surprisingly a lot like a bridge that was where we grew up, where I grew up. It's called Golden's Bridge in um, upstate New York. Well, not it's not upstate New York. It seriously isn't. It's... It's like an hour out of the out of the city, and nowadays with all of the all of the highways and and things, I'm sure it's like 45 minutes out of the city. So um, in that area, it was just absolutely, positively, so much fun to think that. Bailey's lived in near, in or near my town. And the fact that I tried to put that together was because the accountant in, or the, the guy that, the, the financial guy that came to, in the story to, um, to check their books, he lived in Elvira, in Elvira, New York. Um, it was feasible that he, it was in the area I was talking about. And some of the things like in Mount Kisco in that area were, it just looks so similar to me in terms of when, um, we're talking a long time ago, a long, long, very long time ago when I was a kid. So I like to think that it was around our area. It was from our Wonderful town. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make sure that 
I have enough on this side here that's equal to this. I'm close. It's not perfect, but then again, nothing is. It is okay. So now I have my bells, all right? My bells, a little one is on top. And this is from a die set that coordinates with, uh, well, I wanna say it coordinates with um, Christmas Means More stamp set. May or may not. I don't wanna go looking for it because right now I'm trying to look for, what do I want to stamp this with? I should. I think I'll do it with green. I want to put a bell inside. Not a real bell, a stamped bell. We're going to use some green. And we're going to, we're going to do a little shadow in the back. So you stamp it first uh, where you want it, and then you stamp the echo behind it. All right, so I don't need all of this. I'm going to put that off. And where's my little, I'm gonna stick this right here. Taking some glue dots because this is how I'm going to stick it down and have it work. I'm gonna put it right to this side right here. And it's plenty to make it stick. Then I'm gonna take the 12 inches of ribbon that I just, and you can do it where you do the bow this way, where you take these two and you wrap it around, that works really well. Well, today I wanna show you how I do it. Um, I was a florist once, so this is how I used to, this is how it works for me. This works really nicely because this ribbon is really stiff. And I wanna, Get my center nice and tight. I'm gonna pull as you're pulling the sides in, right? When you're pulling the edge, it loosens it up just a tad. So you kind of have to go back and forth, back and forth. Put your fingers in there and then pull on. So right here. And right here, if I pull, all I'm pulling is that. This has to come down like this. Pull that down. Pull this down. And then we're going to take my scissors and boink. Boink. Perfect. And then that's going to go right on top of that. Again, I'm taking out my Glue dots are magical. Magical, magical. I'm putting a couple on here. I'm going on either side of the bow because I can. So I have glue dots. I have one in the center and one on either side. And then I'm just gonna stick that right on top of my twine bow. And there you have it. So this has a little movement. I love when a card has a little movement to it. It's not, you know, not crazy. It doesn't have to really ring. It just looks like there are little bells hanging on. Hey, nicely done, right? And then it's it's nice enough with a dark pen. You still don't, you don't need an interior. It's good. It's all good. All right, we're going to put this guy over here. We'll come back to that later. Moving on. I don't remember... To wipe that down. You're supposed to clean your stamps after you use them. And if you looked real closely at my hands, you probably saw the ink all over it. That's what happens when you don't clean them. All right. And what's nice with these and the ink that I'm using, it's real easy to clean them up. And I have a rag over here, one of those. Um, okay, another thing that I used to do. And this is after I left teaching. Um, I, I learned, oh, well, actually, when I was um, 18, I had my license 
in cosmetology. And I went back to it when we lived in California because it was fun. I got to go back to school, meet some people, go and do stuff. I worked at Facebook for a little while. It was really awesome. I had a good time. All right, so this one is a little bit more difficult. And um, uh, I'm going to take you through it pretty slowly because I really do want you to figure... I want you to be able to do it on your own. And I think... It's better if um, I take it slow. I know I'm silly most of the time. But here's what we're going to need. We're going to need a two inch punch, circle punch, and a, I have a one and a half inch circle punch, but you probably could get away with a one, one inch punch. Oh my goodness, I have the hiccups now. And we are using the six by six plaid tight no oh my goodness Marianne Marianne what's the matter with you ah. we are not using that we're using this one and I don't see I can't see much with this thing on my head I don't know where where or oh where it's a six by six designer series paper. Today is the last day you can get this paper on sale. I think this is one of the ones you can get on sale. I'm not sure. I don't recall. But if you are looking for papers that, um, that are on sale, go to, if you don't have a demonstrator, obviously, go to creativemix.stampinup.net and you, you can go and look through all the sale things. and. They have paper. I'm trying to think if that's one of the papers. I can't remember. I apologize. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. All right. So let's get started. Let's get started. No, let's not do that. Let's get started, shall we? Um, let me see. How does this go? Somehow or another, things are not working out well this way. There we go. Okay, so I took Garden Green eight and a quarter by five and a half, scored it at four and a quarter. Portrait or landscape. We're doing portrait today. And I've already scored and burnished it. And I'm taking, um, here's the paper and it's really pretty. So depending upon which one you wanna use, it's up to you. I liked the, uh, I did one with the Candy canes, I really think that looks cute too. As does this one and this one. And these, you know, frankly, it's really up to you how you wanna do it. Let's do this one today. So you have to, you have to set all this up beforehand. I believe this is, it's probably four, by five and a quarter inch okay like i said all the pdf will be available on the blog with the measurements okay now the plaid is so pretty i really like the plaid for i don't know why maybe it's i don't know how they figure out what's going to be popular this is really really Hitting all the buttons for me. Ah, just a little off. I'm not gonna be able to get it back up. I wasn't paying attention to over here. It's all good. We make we make it mistakes. It's okay. All right, and on the inside, kind of like this, matches really nicely. I'm going with it. These are the easy parts. Right? Right. Okay. Make sure my candy canes are going in the right direction. Let's see if I can't place this one a little easier. Okay, much better. 
Much better. All right, and, and oh, I screwed up already. That's all right, we'll fix it. I'll explain it when I get to the place where I screwed up. <laughs> See, and I even know what I'm doing. Well, apparently it doesn't seem like I know what I'm doing. All right, so I got my two inch circle punch and I'm gonna go right to where the card goes. I'm going in the center, roughly. It doesn't have to be in the center, but it's nice if it does. And I'm bringing the card all the way to the end. All right, and then I'm punching it. And it's a little, you know, needs a little strength because you're punching two, two card stuff. Now stay, save this piece here, you want that, okay? Going back in, taking my, oh, it's an inch and a half by one, two, three, four inches and at a half, I squirted at a half an inch, all right? Now, this is where I messed up because I wanted it to go right in here and I might, I might have saved myself if I can maneuver in this way. I think I can. Okay, so before putting this down, <laughs> before putting, you wanna get your little guy in there. I'm going to use, um, you might want to use glue. I'm going to use my uh, my tape, all right? Now, here's how you do this. You want to make sure that this comes through here. This is going to go, ah, here's a trick, especially when I do something stupid like this. <laughs> I'm going to use some glue to keep this movable. All right, so I'll be able to move it while it's in here. We're gonna go in the hole, because I wanna make sure I get it exactly where I need it to be. This is why you wanna wait before you put this in. All right, so I have that open. I'm sliding this in, and before I actually Press everything down, I'm going to make sure it's in the exact position I need it to be, which is through that circle. See what I mean about being off? There we go. Now, I believe I want to have it just a little bit more down this way. I'm pushing it down, right like, oop, just a little too far, right there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna press it down and it will be fine. Actually, that worked out nice. It might, you know, if you can do it that way, I think that's probably a better way to do it. There we go, right to you. Now, the next part is taking the part that you removed. Here we're going with the puzzle thing again. We're gonna stick it right there. And make sure it goes through. Turn it. Ah, oh, come on. I want it to be as close as possible. Oh, there we go. That's why it wasn't looking right. Right like that. Okay, it's beautiously. Okay. Now you can see what happened, and because I only did the edges, the card wasn't attached everywhere. So if you can figure out where, where it's gonna be on the card, or just use glue, that's fine too. But, okay, now that's gonna stick putting some glue here. I just want to be careful because it's not it's not going to be everywhere. All right. Not like that. This. Does that look right? Not exactly. Nope. There we go. I think that's it. 
should sit pretty good. If you get the three sides in, the rest will follow. I know the circles don't have sides, but it's okay. Just like that, all right? And while that's drying, I'm just gonna... See? All right. So I'm going to get my sentiment. And this was done with the one and a half inch punch, which I don't believe um, Stampin' Up! has the one and a half. I don't know. They could have a one and a half inch punch. I'm kind of confused on that one. I don't know what's available or not anymore. Because, what can I tell you? I use what I have. All right, so that's going to go in the center. And... None of our, because I'm going to show you the stamps that I was using, none of them are going to fit, right? But the bell and the mistletoe, or whatever that is. Berries, they'll work. So let me get some red. I don't have real red, but I have cherry cobbler. And that's a, that's a pretty color. Let me show you what I'm going to do with the cherry cobbler. So the bell itself, get one of these. The bell itself is going to go like this. Just hitting it, and then we're going to do a little bell, All right? Now I got my garden green and I'm just going to hit the leaves. I'm going to try to stay away from the berries. And I pretty much can do that because if I have it on the hang, overhang, the only thing I have to watch out for is that I get ink on everything. And you can see, where are you? You can see there's ink on it. So then I'm going to put this here. Press it down. All right. I'm wiping it off really, really good because we don't want any remnants. Otherwise, you're going to have a ghost print behind. I'm afraid the dogs are going to start acting up. And I'm just hitting. So if I go in the corner, I sometimes can just really pick and choose the ink. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit it right again. Is my head in the way? I hope not. I right, like that. There we go. Wipe that off. Now it is gonna it is going to um, stain a little bit. Now, here's the best part. With these inks, I can maneuver. I had to close that because if I don't, it's gonna be all over. I can maneuver the ink on. Now I have a little, it's a water brush. I have a little bit of water coming out, not a lot. See, look. Well, I might as well use it. <laughs> uh, and I can maneuver it around. Don't start, you guys. They like to announce that someone's here. See, if I just hit the, the edges, it moves it and it keeps it in a nice little... It 
It just looks really, really good. It looks watercolory. Let me show you. See, isn't that pretty? And we're gonna just glue this one. You can do a pop-up, that's fine. I'm just gonna glue it on like that. Oops, it would help if it would stay there. I don't want to touch it with my fingers because more than likely I have something on my fingers. <clears throat> now, here's the, the part I really like to do. You can go in the center of your paper, clip the center, boom, and then go from the edge, one corner to the center, this edge to the center, and you've just made a really even banner look at that is that adorable all right we're gonna put this in here nice looking looking good right okay so because i couldn't do a nice stamp on the outside because of how i chose to do that i can put one of my stamps on the inside. And I believe it's this one that I did. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. This is it. This is it. Okay. Set that down. Cover that. Bring this in here. And since I used a green cardstock, I'm going to use a red come on Ugh. i'm going to use a this is cherry cobbler because the contrast looks really good and i I think I'm going to give some room at the equal. I'm going to try to do equal all around. Okay. Mm. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It goes in here. You open this up. And then you put this right in here. Again, I'm going to use glue. Just a little bit in all four corners. Right center. There we go. And then this goes in like this. It's simple, but it almost looks special, doesn't it? I'm going to make sure we can open it. And there we are. I hope that was fun for you guys. Doesn't that look good? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it does. Let's see how to do this. How do I get rid of that one? There we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, so if there's anything that you saw here that you liked, I hope you would come and if you don't have somebody that uh, can provide it, um, I hope you will take care and keep me in mind. So um, remember, we're going to be having the Paper Pumpkin Special Subscribers Only class for November. And I hope you have a very safe Halloween and that you enjoy yourself while you're inside. And I don't know, we're getting some cooler weather here. I don't know how you guys are doing. But I want to say thank you so very much. And just remember that crafting makes you happy. Bye, you guys.